Atithi Devo Bhava, meaning guest is God, is the tagline of India's campaign which echoes our country's responsibility towards our guests. India is a land of different religions and unique traditions and its spiritual tourism is thriving as it draws millions of global tourists, significantly contributing to the nation's economy. As per projections, India's religious tourism market is poised for a robust growth, with an estimated CAGR of 16.2% in 2023. India received 8.5 million foreign tourists in 2023, an increase of over 714% from 1.05 million in 2021. Welcome to India TV, I'm Pooja Sethi and you're watching Perspective. From the sacred realms of Rindavan to the river Ajmer Sharif to the majestic Golden Temple to the mesmerizing hearts of Varanasi, our vibrant religious destinations are captivating the hearts of tourists in search of enriching spiritual experiences. And it's no surprise that pilgrimage is the foremost contributor to the country's domestic tourism. In 2022, 14.33 crore Indians and 64.4 lakh foreign tourists visited temples and pilgrimages. The places of religious tourism earned over rupees 1 lakh crore in 2022, up from rupees 65,000 crores in 2021. The total contribution of religious and pilgrimage tourism constitutes 60% of total domestic tourism. It was nearly Rs 11 lakh crores, given a total contribution of more than Rs 19 lakh crores in 2022 to 23. Amarnath, Badrinath, Kedarnath, Tirupati, Ujjain, Varanasi, Haridwar, Bodhgaya, Rishikesh, Ajmer Sharif, Oroil, Sabri Mala, Shirdi Sai Baba Temple, Jagannath Puri and the Golden Temple have emerged as popular spiritual tourist destinations. The influx of visitors to these sacred places reflects the magnitude of religious travel. Ram Mandir in Ayodhya, which was consecrated on January 22nd, has ushered in a new era of religious tourism, propelling Ayodhya to emerge as a destination set to captivate 50 million tourists each year, much higher than the annual numbers for Rome's Vatican City, which is at 9 million, and Mecca in Saudi Arabia, which witnesses around 20 million pilgrims each year. Pan-India religious events have proven to be highly effective in captivating both domestic and international tourists. The Kumela in 2019 saw 20.01 crore attendees. Four crore devotees have visited Magh Mela so far this year. In a major push to tourism, Prime Minister Narendra Modi introduced Keem Prasad. That stands for Pilgrimage Rejuvenation and Spiritual Augmentation Drive. In 2015, which later came to be known as Prashad. The scheme takes the incredible India campaign to another level by focusing on the development of pilgrimage sites across India. Under the scheme, a total of around 1,600 crore has been sanctioned for 46 projects. Additional 26 new sites have been identified for development under Prashad scheme. Betting big on the potential opportunities, Finance Minister Nirmala Sita Raman pushed a higher outlay for spiritual tourism in this year's interim budget. Enhanced connectivity and infrastructure have significantly improved accessibility to spiritual destinations thereby catalyzing growth in the sector. Indian carriers have also placed order for over 1,100 airplanes in the past eight months, signaling a substantial surge in travel demand. Projections indicate that by 2028, the sector is set to contribute a revenue of $59 billion, fueling the creation of 140 million temporary and permanent jobs by 2030. This economic phenomena is not confined to specific regions. From the north to the south, the expansive economic potential of religious tourism is being widely acknowledged. Recognizing the abundant opportunities it presents, religious tourism is expected to spur the growth of small enterprises in travel, tourism and hospitality industries across diverse locations. 
About 70% of the intrepid Indian explorers embark on a quest for spiritual rejuvenation, seeking solace in the embrace of meditation and mindfulness. The silent retreats captivate 63% of tourists. Meanwhile, bespoke tour packages are offered to all age groups. As per Make My Trip, over the last two years, the platform witnessed 97% surge in searches for spiritual destinations. The landscape of spiritual tourism has evolved. Gone are the days when spiritual tourism was only popular among the older generation. Today, religious tourism has redefined, appealing to millennials and the Gen Z, bringing new trends to the sector. That's all in this episode of Perspective. Keep watching India TV.